Mm. Now, back to my ingredients. There's again the two scotch bonnet peppers, one whole onion chopped, a two inch piece of ginger there, just peeled off the skin and then chop that up. I've got one teaspoon of allspice. Now don't get that confused with mixed spikes, they're two totally different things, and a good sprig of fresh thyme. Just take that, I'm just gonna pop that into the blender. That avoids all the contact with the fingers and everything, ever so simple if you've got one of these. And as for the thyme, you just want to sort of push that off with your knife. Sometimes it kind of, when it dries out, it sort of binds onto the little stalks there. So just use your sharp knife there and scrape that down. That's it. And just pick that up and put that inside. And the other ingredients are 50 ml of a dark soy sauce. And 50 ml of thyme vinegar. Very simple to do. Sprigs of thyme in a bottle, pour your wine vinegar on top, and just let it all infuse together. Then we just blitz that together. The idea of the soy sauce and the vinegar is not only that it sort of moistens all your other ingredients, but it tenderizes the meat. That's the most important thing. That's beautiful. And then we take that and just pour that on top of our chicken. You pick up your pallet knife and then work that into your meat. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's it. And turn it over. Don't be frightened to turn that over and really get into those cups. You know those cups that you made in the chicken? Work that marinade right down to the bone. That's it. Remember, you want to do this for about sort of 24 hours marinated, maybe even 48 hours, but no longer than that. Otherwise, it starts to break down the meat and you lose all that kind of juiciness and tenderness that you get with your meat. And once you've marinated your chicken for long enough, you pop them on top of your barbecue. Look at those coals. You can see that lovely sort of white sort of dust there that's collected around that coals. That's the indication that it's ready to cook. To get to that stage, once you've lit your barbecue, it's probably going to take anywhere up sort of 40, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, till they kind of die down like that. And that will avoid it sort of burning. You know, you don't want to burn your meat or fish. Your chicken breast there are going to take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook, and the wings, 15 to 20 minutes. That's lovely. Beautiful. Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken.